Worked up today to 80% for a touch and go AMRAP. Ent up with 10 reps, which I was super happy about. I was aiming for 8 to 10, so that was great to see. Uh, I think they're pretty controlled for touch and go, definitely not bouncing at all. Um, tenth one was probably like a 9.5 or something on the RPE scale. Uh, been playing with ZMA for the past couple of nights and getting some wacky dreams out of those and maybe it is just placebo, it could very well be just placebo, but I do feel a lot more rested. And again, it could just be placebo. After that, did 5x5 five five at 75% on the squat and god damn, these were just ugly. Uh, but before I get into that, here is the uh, back down sets. The last set at uh, at seventy five percent did three sets of four. Uh, this looks fine as well, no issues. But yeah, the squatting. Uh, you're about to see. I believe this was the either the fourth set. Yeah, I think this was the fourth set at a, a 295 or 75% and it's not good. I was doing the same sort of good morning-esque thing that I was doing before even with the knee travel. I'm not sure what happened because on Sunday or Monday or whatever it was, I did 315 for I think it was four reps. And it was a lot better than that and then I thought I might as well try the Addy Powers, slightly larger heel than the Power Lifts. And these, if anything, looked even worse. Uh, the setup was fine, bar position was fine, but like, I still have that stripper booty coming up where the hips are coming up considerably faster than the shoulders. And, uh, and you can see that in the hole, the bar is over my toes, essentially, so that's why that's happening. That'll be something to work on quite a bit. Tomorrow is deadlifts. 